Hi everyone, this is Dan from Velpixel, and today we'll be going over how you can set up e-commerce event tracking with Google Analytics using our Google Analytics for extension. Uh, the process is very simple. It should only take a couple of minutes, but uh, to preface this, I assume you already have the extension installed. If that's not the case, you can head over to velpixel.com, open up the product page, check out the user guide, and you will have the installation instructions there. Now let's uh, get started. Let's head over into our Magento admin using the sidebar on the left here, find the big Velpixel icon and head it over into the extension configuration settings. We'll set the enable GA4 option to yes under general configuration. And now we'll need to go into our Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics accounts to pick up a couple of things. Now over here in Google Tag Manager, if you already have a container, you can use that. Uh, but finding the details is a little bit different. Uh, we'll be using the create account to make a new account. Uh, so let's jump right into that. We'll give the account name G4 demo, kind of a United States country, that's fine. G4 demo for the container as well. And we'll select the web option. After accepting this agreement, we'll be taken into the container where we'll have the codes, the tracking codes that we need to input into the engine settings. Awesome. So uh, next we'll scroll down. We'll avoid all of these settings right here for now. Uh, we'll open up the GTM API configuration section. And over here we need count ID, the container ID, and the measure measurement. These first two we get from Google Tag Manager. We can find them by closing it. And we can head over into the URL. You'll see there are two values here. Uh, one of them is the count ID, which is the first one right here that we paste it. And then there's the account, the container ID. Awesome. Now the measurement ID will need to head over into Google Analytics for this. And again, here, if you already have a property in Google Analytics, you can uh, use that. But for the purpose of this guide, we'll be creating a new one. Now to do this, you head into the big cog here in the uh, panel, uh, which will bring you into the admin section and click on create account. Well, the account A and A, J4 demo, just to keep that consistent. These don't really matter. All right. Property name, J4 demo. Uh, now, these don't really matter for the purpose of this guide, but if you do need to, uh, to give uh, sharing options for Google, you can do that. Uh, this is that you might want to review on your own. Next, uh, we have the property name, United States reporting, US dollar, that's fine. Currency option, advanced options. This is not something you want to do because uh, creating a universal analytics property is uh, deprecated right now, starting with July 1st of this year. So uh, that's not something. Okay, next. This again, uh, some business details for Google. You do need to select uh, something over here. So I'll just be select the first option that come. Uh, over here, we'll do generate leads and we accept the screen. Now, uh, this is where it's important. We're going to need to choose the platform, which is web. And over here, we're going to have to set up a web stream, which is data collection for Google Analytics 4, right? So we're going to need our website URL, which right here is g 4 demobellpixelcom So we'll copy that without the HTTPS. And we'll give this for, for demo. Great. Uh, enhanced measurement, you just keep on. That's fine. We'll click create stream. And right here, we see that we have some web stream details. Uh, this installation instructions, you can just close this window because we don't need that. And we're going to need the measurement ID from here. So copy this and paste it over into extension configuration. Now let's click save config, which will save our configuration. This is basically the full uh, basic version of the setup here. Now what, what we're going to need to do now is head over to JSON export options. This, um, what this does is it generates a JSON file, which is actually a Google Tag Manager container based on the details that we've uh, provided in the configuration settings. So we're going to need our public ID, which we can get from our tracking script over here from the Google Tag Manager JavaScript code section. We have the public ID 
right here, which is GTM and then a code. Copy that, paste it here, and then click the generate JSON for variables, triggers, and tags. Awesome. Uh, we're going to get this attention box that says that JSON was generated successfully. Click OK, and then we click download JSON. We're going to save that somewhere in our download section over here. Awesome. And then we're going to head over into Google Tag Manager. Now, uh, this container is empty right now. So what we're going to need to do is go into admin. By the way, if you are using pre-existing container, uh, you can find your tracking codes by just clicking this install tag manager uh, button over here, and you'll have the, the tracking scripts. So to import the container, we're going to go into import container, choose our container file, so this container file, file that we downloaded, click open, and that will uh, allow us to choose the workspace which we're going to choose the existing workspace, which is the default one that's created as soon as you create the account. Uh, we can just use the override option because this is empty. But again, if you are using a pre-existing container, you will probably need to use the merge option and uh, just override the existing tags if, uh, if there are any that match the ones that you're importing in Tank. So this is fine for us right now. Overwrite. We'll confirm. And we can see over here that we have all of these uh, workspace changes right here. Now, these are tags, triggers, and variables that are used to pick up data from the extension, uh, from the extension's data layer that is generated under store and then send it over to Google Analytics. At this point, you can simply submit the container. Uh, you don't need to add a version name or the description. This is optional. You can just publish it. Wait, we're going to just do that. You can give it a name and a description if you'd like. But right now, the container is published, which means that uh, if you navigate, you browse your store and uh, performs actions that would trigger events, the events should be triggered and you should start seeing your data in Google Analytics. Now, it can take a while for reports to be generated. But this is not something that uh, that you need to do to that you need to wait for to confirm the data is being sent to Google Analytics because Google Analytics four has a real time reporting uh, view you can check out. If you go over here to reports and then real time, you'll see everything that happens on your store in real time. So to confirm that, we'll reload the front page of our store. We'll head over to a category page, which should trigger the view item list event. Now, it can take a while for uh, the real time data to be populated. Uh, this usually happens within about 30 seconds to a minute. We should already see some data. All right, look at that. Awesome. So it's already recording me. Uh, you can see there's one user active in the last 30 minutes. And you can see all of the events that happen. There's a first visit, there's a session start, and there's a view item list, which is the e-commerce event that was triggered when I started viewing this category page. If we head over to a product page, click on an item, we will see in real time a view item event, which uh, should be populated soon. And we can add the cart, for example, and then that will trigger an add cart event. Once we go to proceed to checkout, this will trigger the begin checkout event. And there are a couple of other events on the checkout page that, uh, that are triggered. We'll, uh, we'll probably have another video that will go over how you can, uh, you can make sure that all of your events are triggered. So, uh, stay tuned for that one. The Big idea here is that uh, you can see in the real time view that the extension is sending data to Google Analytics. Here's our begin checkout event. Here's our add cart event. It's great. That means the extension is working fine. So I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye bye.